Hi, and thank you for assisting as a coordinator. We could not do this without you. Uh, on the day of your time slot, please report to the area indicated in the program for your event. Please be there 30 minutes before the first competitor is supposed to arrive. There are events that require preparation time and the competitors arrive earlier than the scheduled start time. These events will have a first competitor report uh, written next to them in the program. If you're assigned to online testing, uh, just report at the time of your event. Once you're there, a member of the NAP committee will come around and help you get organized and split into your different roles. NAP will give you a copy of the guidelines for your event, which will have all the specifics about your times and equipment. There is also a link to these guidelines in the email that you receive containing this video if you want to look uh, through them beforehand. Once you and your team have been assigned roles, the NAP member will tell you where you need to go next. The NAP committee will be circulating during the competitions and are there in case any executive decisions need to be made to help your event run smoothly. There are only so many of them, so please be patient as they come around. Now I'll briefly go over each coordinator role. Your event may not require all of these roles, and you also may be asked to perform multiple roles, so please be somewhat familiar with all of them. Uh, we really appreciate your flexibility here. The first point of contact for the competitors is the check-in desk. You'll ensure that arriving competitors match the names listed on the schedule that we provide you. Anyone there to compete must be listed on that schedule, and if there's an issue, please alert a NAP member. Uh, please also note that competitors are allowed to compete with less individuals than listed on the schedule, but in that case, also alert a NAP member. Uh, in some cases, you will hand them a check-in card, which will allow them to move to the waiting area. The check-in cards will have presentation times on them. NAP will provide final instructions on when competitors can get check-in cards uh, and be given access to the waiting area day of the event. At any point beyond the check-in process, your guidelines may indicate that in, if the competitors are running ahead of schedule, you may move to, on to the next competitor if they are ready. Uh, on FBLA finals day, however, you will need to remain on schedule for all events that are open to audiences. The practice room will ensure that competitors receive their allowable time to prepare for their event. Per your guidelines, inform the competitors how long they have to prepare and time their preparation. Hand the competitors a prompt, and in some events, you will actually also hand them some note cards. Um, as I previously mentioned, this is actually one of those roles that you may not have. The doorkeeper will have a, last, uh, a few last minute reminders for the competitors concerning the role of the timekeeper. The specific information for that role will be found in your guidelines. The escort will work with other coordinators in their section to develop a system of moving competitors to and from their various locations. You will move competitors between the waiting room, the practice room, if applicable, and the competition room. The timekeeper will be responsible for keeping time for the event and non-verbally communicating the time to the competitors, typically by standing or holding up a time card. Depending upon the event, there can be up to three segments you will need to time, the setup, the performance, where you will stand and hold a card at the one minute remaining mark and at time, it is important that you not verbally indicate that time has been reached or attempt to stop the performance from continuing. And there is also potentially a Q&A section. Depending upon the event, you may also be asked to collect materials following the performance. Specific details will again be found in the guidelines. Lunch will be provided to anyone serving as a coordinator. If you're a morning coordinator, the NAP committee will let you know where to go following the completion of your event. For any afternoon coordinators, you will be given, lunch will be served at uh, starting at 11.30 and your state advisor will pass along the location to you. Again, thank you for assisting as a coordinator. 